Ladies and gentlemen, it is Nahida's birthday, or around the time of Nahida's birthday. I think it's like been 24 hours since then. But the point stands Nahida is now reran, or is going to be reran. Uh, it, by the time you're watching this video, probably the rerun's happening. But Nahida and, of course, Hu Tao are rerunning for Genshin Impact. Now, this is the banner before, obviously, the new you know update so there's a lot of uh things to really consider here but i really want to talk about if this is the banner that you should summon on because both these units are really really good and the four stars are just as good there's some really big things to consider but before we get into that make sure to like comment subscribe don't forget to check out obviously my wonderful sponsor in gamer subs uh gotta get the gotta push the button boom use code ties for 10 percent off man scuffed already i'm very tired i got home from work i had to get my dailies done and get all my stuff going so i'm just getting all that squared away so today we're gonna be talking about if you should be summoning for nikita and hu tao but first let's talk about these four stars the one four star that i have trouble talking about is really sethos and the reason why i have trouble talking about sethos it says i don't have a lot of experience with him but i have been told that a lot of people find him extremely fun to play as uh he's an electro bow user and it seems like he mainly focuses on em and i think also er as well because i believe it's like you have this ability to like you you don't have to use your ultimate all the time but if you use your skill your ultimate energy goes down i believe that's how it works but like you get like a buff to it um let me go ahead and pull up set those really quick because i feel uh i feel like I'm just kind of not doing him any justice. So if we pull up Sethos here, I use Honey Hunter World for the most part. So uh, if we look at his skill, right? So skill right here gathers the uh, might of thunder dealing AOE electro damage and quickly retreating. If the attack triggers electro charge, superconduct, overloaded, quicken, aggravate, hyper bloom, or electro swirl reaction, Sethos recovers a certain amount. Oh no. So he recovers a certain amount of energy. Never mind. I am dumb. It's the charged attack. I think that takes away from it. Maybe am I, I maybe I'm just crazy and maybe I'm just re not remembering how he was built. Uh, beforehand uh sethos cannot perform aim shots while in the state damage dealt by dust bolts is considered charge attack damage so yeah he's he's pretty cool or at least that's what it seems like so i wish i had pulled him uh i'm not gonna be pulling on this banner myself only because of the fact that you know i have nahita and i have huto but sethos seems like a really really cool four star in general so overall he's gonna get a thumbs up from me because it's his first uh rerun technically uh he hasn't been really well He's a four star, so he's in the general pool. But you get what I mean? Like, he hasn't been a featured four star since he first arrived. So, this is really cool. Let's go ahead and talk about Zing Show. Zing Show is a character I have a lot of time with. And I remember when I first started Genshin, I pulled Zing Show and I was like, this guy has to suck because this dude be wearing high heels. I, I, I won't lie. I, I did that. I was like, man, he gave me with the high heels. That's crazy. But. Let the man wear his high heels because he is an absolute badass on teams, man. This guy is a great off-field DPS character for uh, your teams. Like, if you need an off-field Hydro DPS character, he's the one. Build him up with some energy recharge. Build him up with uh, four... What was the four piece? It was Emblem of Severed Fate. That's, a, that's his best in slot right now. Um, and I think with the Sacrificial Sword... Yeah, Sacrificial Sword because that's the one I have on him. So... He's really dang good, right? Zigshow is one of those characters that was like the original four stars that were mighty. You had uh, Zingsho, you had Bennett, you had Sucrose, you had Fischl. Those are like the like four pillars of four stars, right? And he's definitely one of them. He He's really, really good. If you are a new player or even a, a, a experienced player that hasn't c 6 him yet, it's a thumbs up for me. But the downside is he has been in the game for a long time and you've got probably gotten a couple of him for free if you're just doing free to play. So I'm just saying it's kind of tough. I still give him a thumbs up because I think he's worth it unless you've already C6 him. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Miss Kuki Shinobu next, right? Kuki Shinobu. I have a love-hate relationship with this woman. She's incredibly gorgeous. I love her. Um... 
but I used to hate her. I used to be like, Kuki Shinobu's not that great. And, and I, I'm, I'm willing to admit my faults. I even had a guy back, way back when, when I did my Kuki Shinobu build guide, that was like, um, Tystra, you're not building her correctly. You're really just doing a horrible job at showcasing this character. In which case, I gave him a lot of crap. But I admit now, he was right. I did not know how to build Kuki Shinobu properly, and I gave her a lot of flack. She's great with the heals. She's great with the actual electro application, which is great for aggravate teams. And so she has become that staple aggravate four star user. Now, granted, her kill is not built around aggravate, but it's the fact that she can channel it. And you get the heals on top of that, so you can keep your characters out there for longer because she's just that dang good. Overall, Kuki Shinobu, if you do not have her C6, she gets a thumbs up from me. She has been out for a little bit, mind you, but she's still really good. Let's talk about the five stars now. We're going to be talking about Hootie Hoo Tao, my favorite. Just kidding. One of my favorite Pyro DPSs. Um, Hoo Tao is so absolutely adorable um the art i've seen has been freaking crazy with her right um but the fact that she's still regarded as one of the better dps's in the game now granted before anybody comes into the comments and starts flaming me i said one of the better right there are plenty of dps's in this game and she's definitely in the upper echelon not in the mid or lower echelon utau is still really really good uh when you think of pyro dps's I think she only gets beat out by Arlequino. I mean, Yoi Mia can sometimes put out more damage than her, but I think it really depends on the builds and who's the, like, versus the versus. Um, but I think Hu Tao is just one of those characters that you're safe to play as. Um, if you have not pulled her, I highly suggest doing it because she's absolutely 100% worth it. I have her, I think, C1. Either C1 or C2. And she just... She's always fun to play as. So, Hu Tao gets a thumbs up from me right one of the best units in the game Nahida if you do not have her on your account I don't know what you're doing it's as simple as that she's one of the best units in the game like people will probably I, I, again like the Gitcha community loves to argue but aggravate teams are still very very good very very good and Nahida is a central component to that not only that but i feel like with being in natland she could help out with burn like not not be the best in burn but she could definitely help out with the burn teams um especially since of course she's dendro but she's still considered one of the best units in the game um at least in my opinion and the fact that she's able to apply dendro like dendro application like just by doing this is insane plus she's absolutely adorable she gets her own swing it's really really cool right so overall i'm looking at these banners and what sucks is is that everybody everybody who's featured is a rerun of some sort right whether it's a four star whether it's a five star but these are so good why didn't we get like i would have liked this four star format like with these characters in the first set of banners with jelonin right but of course, that wouldn't make sense because these are not going to really entirely work with Jelonin. There's there's ways to do it, but mm, you know what I mean. They got Electro and Hydro, Jelonin would have worked. But it makes more sense to pair a Zing Show with a Hu Tao. It makes more sense to pair a Kuki Shinobu and a Sethos to Nahida, right? Plus, it's Nahida's birthday. We got to give her the, one of the best banners. So overall, if you are a new player, or if you're a veteran player and you haven't pulled Hu Tao or Nahida, I strongly suggest doing so. If you're if you're wanting characters that'll last you on your account, right? Because I still use both of these characters. I still use Zing Shou, I still use Kuki Shinobu. I don't have Sethos, but I hear he's great. This is a bang for your buck type of like banner. You know, and I know there's there's probably people that get mad when I say bang for your buck, but let's be honest, it's your fucking money. Like if you're spending money on a banner because you want good units this is the time to do it so nahida and hu tao banners get a thumbs up from me i think that this is a good banner to spend your jemmy poos on right 
And that's going to be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Don't forget to check out my big time awesome sponsor and gamer subs, right? I love these guys. They do great things for me. I love promoting their stuff because it is quality over quantity. None of the bullshit, right? So cheers to gamer subs. Mm. This is just water, but I love the cups as well. But yeah, that was weird. But that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.